Hey everybody, Magic Tablet Skittles here, and I'm back with another drawing update, and this one is one spanning three months, so this is going to take a long time if I actually spend as much time as I usually do making commentary about drawing, so I'm gonna try to rush through this one so the video doesn't end up being a day and a half. So yeah, let's get started. So here are basically the storyboards I have made. I have made a ton of drawings over the span of three months, but you know, these are storyboards, this is the stuff I can't show. Got a whole chunk of stuff that big, you know, like these are all just individual storyboards, you know, stuff like that, but yeah, there's about 83 of those I believe, and I guess I can show you an example of just a couple, but like these are basically what my storyboards look like for my manga, and then there's the writing, la di da, and I usually write the final writing down here, but yeah, I have 83 of these, so... Yeah, if you're having an update where you want to make a hundred drawings, I'm pretty close with just those. And, yep, onwards to the next ones. And at some point I actually did finish chapter one with storyboards before I decided to redo it again. So here are actually a couple of the pages that I've made for my manga. Um, I do have finalized digital versions, but those actually have text which could like give stuff away. So, yeah, can't actually show those, body. Plus, I think that... A lot of these could use, like, I could redraw a lot of these, but hey, it's good practice for making a manga, right? You get a, you kind of get a hang of drawing the pages from storyboard and stuff like that. This is the first time Exodus is ever introduced, and I still like that drawing. That one, this drawing of Exodus, eh, is like my favorite one out of my entire manga so far, which was like 10 pages, so, yeah, here's more of the pages. This was actually page one, and right from the get-go I decide to draw an entire freaking classroom because that's a good idea. Don't ever draw that. And then here is another page. Here is Crow with her original... She kind of has an outfit before she has her normal kimono. She still has the kimono underneath, but she has like this hoodie thingy. So, and you're actually going to be seeing a lot of that hoodie thingy. Here's her second eye in case anybody was wondering what that looked like. And hoodie thingy and then people and then grass do you pay close attention to the grass that is the most important part of this panel nah I just messed up yeah. so here is a drawing I did for the adventures of beaver this is actually gonna be a more recent article in the place where I live and yeah he gets caught in a tsunami thingy because if this beaver were real, he would hate me because I put him through so much stuff. It's just a newspaper article, but I treat it like it's a grand masterpiece. I have, like, character development and stuff. And then, there's a glacier. That's a mountain. That's a beaver. So, yeah, there's that. And here's just random sketches I made. That's Black Rock Shooter. Uh... Yeah, she's now one of my more favorite characters just because she has a like, well, you don't see it in this drawing, but she usually has like a scar right there. And I actually have a scar in the same place because I got my appendix out. So I, I call that scar the Black Rock Shooter Scar whenever anybody asks about it. Like, bro, I got a Black Rock Shooter Scar. And they're like, okay, you freaking weirdo. And then here's another Adventures of the Beaver drawing. And then there's the beaver. And he's on a cactus. And there's a guy. And he has shades because he's awesome. And here is a drawing I made at school, which is like a realism practice. I do actually have a lot more drawings, but I didn't get them from school. I wasn't planning on recording this today. I don't plan things in advance. I just wait for a day where I have free time. And then that's when I couldn't record stuff. But anyway... This is a guy with a tie, and he's quite fancy, and yeah, this is realism practice in case you couldn't tell, it's so realistic, he doesn't even have feet. But yeah, anyway, I saw a picture of this one guy, and he was looking kind of mad, and it was in a, in a magazine thingy about having trouble finding work, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this guy's day better. So I just drew him, adjusting his tie, and he's all fancy looking, he was like, quite right, good sir, quite right, quite right. So, yeah, hope that made his day better. And... Here's a funny thingy if you know who Lamia Crescent is. I tried to do crayon art, and this is actually one that I thought came out okay. So, yeah. There's a failed attempt at the back because you do not get to sketch before you do this. You just go up with straight line art. And I drew it in purple because I'm fancy. And, yeah. Basically, here is a drawing of Crow done entirely in crayon. Lemmy, it's up to you whether you give the thumbs up or not. And shameless plug to her channel. Everybody subscribe to her! Or else. So... 
And here is actually just a quick sketch that has a funny story behind it. I was actually in one of my classes and we were taking a test and the thing is they can only have two people per table. So I decided to, yeah we have tables, but anyway, we I decided that I would move around and I actually took a test in a cupboard. Yeah, I actually fit inside of a cupboard thingy and I asked my teacher if I could take the test in there and they're like, yeah, sure. So I did and then I made this drawing as soon as I finished the test. It's like stealthy, Skittles is stealthy. So I just took a test in a cupboard. It's really great, really helps with the focus. You guys should try it. It's just a, just so marvelous in there. And then here is background practice. Uh, yeah, basically I do a lot of these just so I can kind of get the feel for how I'm gonna add characters to my manga. And there's actually a little Easter egg in here. Like if you uh, direct your attention to this guy on the billboard here when this thing decides to focus. Oh. So basically, I don't know if you can tell, but that's actually a guy. He's like rolling up for like a poster thing. He's kind of rolling it up and that actually says Magic Tablet Skittles. But he's still putting it up and it actually has like a drawing of Kiblo right there. So that's Kiblo and that's a random guy. It's up to you to decide who that is. And there's birdies. One of them might be Crow. We don't know yet. So yeah, here is a background drawing. And here is a drawing of Crow's face to the side because I was practicing drawing faces from the side and I never finished it. But it's okay, you're gonna get to see more face practice later. So there's that. Here is a bear drawing. I made a finalized scratch board version. I mean, this was kind of just a practice to learn how to draw bears because I've never drawn a bear before. So this was like the crash course to be like, teach myself how to draw bears. So I drew this and then I drew the scratch board and it was cool. And this is actually a drawing I made while I was in a car going somewhere. If you know what Naruto is, then you'll probably know what this is. But basically, I drew this out of a panel in one of the books. Uh, because my friend Juan, he has a ton of Naruto books, and I drew this from it, and I actually think it came out okay for being inside of a car. If you guys have ever drawn inside of a car, you know that every line you try to make, there's always five bumps in the road to every line you make. It's like, and then you draw another line, and this is all about timing. You just gotta find, like, that one level of the road that's perfectly flat, and you're like, now's my chance! And then you still mess up anyway, but I still like this drawing. <laughs> Also, I think the fox is cuddly. I don't think I don't think anybody thinks a nightmare fox with nine tails and I don't know, kinda evil looking is cuddly, but I do. He's cuddly. Poke Fox of Nightmares. Subscribe to him too! And here is a drawing I actually did for a school competition called Reflections. And here's a funny thing, I was disqualified because I put my name on it because they said that could influence the judges or whatever. I live in a small place where everybody knows everybody, so they'd be like, Oh no, his drawing sucks now because he put the signature on it. And I'm like, yeah, okay. But I'm kind of fine with that. They gave us two months to work on it, and I just put this up on the last day. So this is Crow's kimono on fire, and her kimono doesn't actually burn. I can't tell you specifics for that because, you know, manga spoilers. But yeah, I lost because I put my name on it. How amazing is that? And here is another Adventures of the Beaver drawing, and this is where he actually decides to destroy the entire place. Looky, there's buildings there, and there's more buildings there, and I... I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Anyway, here is a beaver, and here is a place that used to be a city. And now we are getting onwards to the notebook, which is awesome. I love this paper. So awesome. And here is a drawing. I was actually going to make a speed paint, but then my computer decided it hated me. Yeah, my computer kind of has a thing now that it decides to be a total jerk. So I actually drew part of this and it did not record and I was kind of unhappy about it and it made me sad. So yeah, here's basically Crow. She's in her room, you know, just has the normal stuff, you know, soccer ball, basketball, swords, you know, all the usual. And the thing is, this basketball, when I drew that there, I immediately got the idea, oh, maybe I should draw a Crow playing basketball. So I did. This was just yesterday. And this is actually Crow playing basketball. And funny thing, I can draw feet, but I can't draw shoes. So I just drew her foot kicking up the shoe. And there's a water bottle. I'm a waterholic. I appreciate that. And yeah, this is basically Crow playing basketball. And this might be a speed paint, but I'll probably do it digitally. So yeah, there's that. And eh. this is 
if you can see anything, this is two point perspective practice, but I got bored. I don't always finish all the backgrounds I start. And here's Crow, again with that hoodie thingy I was telling you guys about, if you can even tell, if any of this makes sense. And that's supposed to be barb barbed wire. There. Can't even talk now. So this is barbed wire, and that's a gun, and I never draw guns, and I don't think this is even in existence. I just kind of drew something that I thought would look cool, and then Crow's are like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You want to play tag? We'll play tag with bullets. Come on, it'll be fun. So there's that. And this page is actually my favorite drawing of the month because it has nothing on it. And this page is actually just pose practice. So there's Crow with sword sleeves and another mini Crow. And then there's just Crow. So I like that drawing. It has a dynamic feel to it. Don't know why I didn't finish it. Yeah. Here is a drawing that I drew solely to ignore people at a Christmas party because I didn't want to talk to anybody But my friend Juan was there so we were talking we were both talking and drawing he drew Santa Claus and I drew this and we were ignoring people and it was fun and This is actually just more background practice, but this is kind of using zero point perspective. Yeah, it exists Look it up, but anyway yeah, it's kind of weird to do perspective when there's actually no lines to follow and then you're kind of just checking It's like wait <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> is this line straight with that one or is that one with that one? So could, all these lines kind of match up, but yeah I like how this drawing came out and now you know what crow looks like in the school uniform. So There's that and we move on fun fact. I actually tried to ink this and make it a video, but guess what that didn't work either Here is a drawing I made on Friday the 13th and I'm original so original, in fact, that all I could think of was adding the number 13 to her shirt and then make her a black cat. But you can't really tell because I didn't color this. Maybe this could be a speed paint. I'll add a Friday the 13th speed paint on a Saturday the, like, 18th or something. Why not? We'll do that. That'll happen. Eventually. One day. And then here is just a little joke. Like, if you know about Exodus, which is this character, she's actually dead and she's an angel. And then this is Slenderman, and he'd be like, I would kill you if you weren't already dead. And she's like, gee, thanks. So, <laughs> dead humor. I know, I have a dead sense of humor. But anyway, here is another drawing of Crow. Fun fact, I like drawing crow so much because I like drawing the kimono, it gets to be all poofy. So if you ever wonder, why does he never draw anybody else but crow? He's lame and he sucks. That would be why. I think the kimono's fun to draw. Plus I get to draw little crows everywhere. It's a thing. That's a crow. That's a crow. Crow, 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 fire. Everywhere. Then that's a crow. Hola. So, next drawing. Here is what I meant by face practices. So. Yeah, I kind of just try to get consistency of faces now, so like, I try to draw like, you know, side face, happy face, eh, I'm trying to like maneuver this, so, that's like wind, that's like, okay, this is like wind level one, that's wind level two, that's just normal face, and that's kind of irritated face. Here would be Crow if I ever decided to let her hair down, and the thing is I've drawn it in a ponytail so much that it this looks off to me. It's eventually gonna happen in the manga, so she lets her hair down. It's not gonna stay like that, it's just those, you know, few couple of scenes where she doesn't pin it up, so just wanted to practice on that. I like how it came out, but it still looks weird to me. So there's that. Here is more face practice, but this one is for Crow. That's Crow like no. And here's Crow like, no, that's actually Alan, that's Alan again, that's Alan. And this is actually my friend Juan's character, I decided to draw him, he's working on a manga too. Juan, make a YouTube channel, you bum. And here is my second favorite drawing of the month. And here is actually a drawing of Crow. This has her second eye showing, but it's kind of tough to put in all that detail when the drawing is, the eye is smaller than your thumb. But yeah, she has a sword, she has that hoodie thingy, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> Here is another drawing of Crow, big surprise, right? And uh, I was actually gonna color this, but I don't know why. I didn't, I actually don't know why I didn't color this. Might color it later, who knows. 
And since we have so many drawings of Crow, I decided to draw one of Exodus. And if you look at the design on this, you know I don't draw her often. She has kind of a lot of designs. She has two skirts. One's like a half, the other's like normal. But then she has this scarf thingy, belt thingy, her sleeves thingies, her shirt, puffy sleeves. I, that's my favorite part of drawing Exodus. Every time I get to draw these puffy sleeve thingies, those things are cool. And... Of course, her scarf, and then her, and then the halo, which I almost forget every time. So, yeah, here's a drawing of Exodus that I might color, because, I don't know. Here is a drawing of Bottle Miku, which I actually tried to make a line art for, which was going to be another speed paint. Yeah, and you guys thought I just went two months without uploading anything, huh? I actually made these into speed paints, and then for a million different reasons, it decided not to work, so... This is actually a drawing I'm going to be using for a collaboration with Tomo, and yeah, I just got to get this on the computer somehow, and then you'll get to see Tomo color it, and then I'll also color it because, you know, I have the original, because why not? And here are chibi drawings I've made of Crow and Exodus, and they're cute and cuddly, and we are going on to the next page, and these are practices of swords. My friend Juan actually has a katana, and I decided to draw it from different angles and stuff, like there's a handle. Sword, 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 and I creeped him out because I kept playing around with the sword, swinging it around, and he thought I was going to kill him, and it was funny, so here is more background practice, and I'll just let you get to just take a wild guess who that person might be, and yeah, this is one of those background drawings I actually like more. <laughs> it makes no sense, though. Add random bridge here, add random building here. I don't know, why not? Staircase there. So, makes no sense, it just looks cool. But, here is a drawing I was actually making like with a uh, charcoal pencil. Like, you can't tell that's charcoal, it's like brown charcoal. Yeah, that exists. But, I never got around to finishing it. Did I mention most of these were drawn in school instead of paying attention? Here is the next drawing. It's of Crow. Again, more background practice, because her kimono is still ever fun to draw. And here is, here's Eagle, just kidding, it's Crow. But anyway, here is Crow, and then this is actually all cross-hatching for the Crow behind her. Like, I thought, okay, I can do it like a cool pose thingy or something, but I'll actually make it for the Crow. So that's just Crow standing there like, hey, what's up? And then there's a Crow thingy in the back like, ah! And I actually like how this came out. This is actually one of my more favorite drawings of the month. And here is a drawing of Exodus, and on this one, her like puffy sleeve was actually torn off. And trust me, it killed me to draw because I'm like, oh, puffy sleeve, come back, I love you. But this actually shows off an important thing. She actually has weights under her arms, and she actually has them like under these shoe thingies too. Uh, that's actually of a relevance in my manga. And look, I forgot to draw the halo. <laughs> See, I forget. So there's that. And then you've probably been wondering what this last drawing has been the whole time. Wait. Eh, eh. Here are 25 more drawings. Uh, this is for logo design or something like that. So I actually picked the one from my manga. And I tried to draw it in actually 50 different ways. But the thing is I've only done 25 of them. So I'm well easily over 100 drawings by now. And this is a watercolor drawing that I try to make of basically where Exodus lives and this is the first time Crow's ever been there and she's just a kid and she's all little and she's so cute and I would if I had to pick a favorite drawing for the month it'd be this one and guess what it's not finished it's probably never going to be I like how I did this guy it has red and green and blue and purple and kind of blue so yeah now that we're done with that all the traditional drawings in just under 20 minutes we can now get to the digital ones yeah there's more all right, and here's a drawing I'm making for Sapphire Star 9145 for her birthday, and I am actually in the process of making this into a speed paint right now. Hehe, <laughs> just draw a smiley face. So anyway, yep, there's that, and here is a digital version of the drawing I was working on before, the the one where Crow was at. This one actually has Exodus because this is kind of like her world. So. Yeah, she's kind of just still in a sketch right now, but I do like how this is coming out. I'm going for more of a, like, painter's style for backgrounds now. I'm trying it out, and it's actually pretty awesome. So, 
here is what I believe to be the weirdest background I have ever made before. There's kind of ice here, and here is a tidal wave with a smiley face there. There's a volcano, there's a random mountain, here's a beach, and guess who's there? But, yeah, there's that, and there is also a reg ice here. So, eh, let's see, zooming in, there is a reg ice right there. So, <laughs> yeah, weirdest background ever, right? And then for some reason, bamboo's there. So, hello! And here is a drawing I did of Akumu in MS Paint. This is actually done with the mouse during my newspaper class when I should be doing work. But hey, I finished my article early, so I just decided to, you know, MS Paint. But yeah, not bad for a mouse drawing, right? I do like how it came out. And here is the drawing that I made for Christmas. Actually tried to make it into a speed paint, but also one of the many fails that my computer decides to hate me. So. But that's okay. You can check out a lot of the final p versions of these on DeviantArt. And here is actually a drawing I did for a school contest. But the results are not yet in, but I can probably safely say that I didn't win. But here is Crow, and here are fireworks. And even, like, I do like, especially in digital drawings, how I color Crow's kimono because it's all shiny and it's blue, but it's not. It's like blue and black, but it's still shiny and it's blue pretty freaking awesome. And here is a drawing I did for CCL, and it's her holding a ratata, but I've never drawn one before, so it looks like a creepy alien to me. It's just like that, you zoom in on its face. I will eat your soul. But yeah, anyway, here's a drawing I did for CCL. Subscribe to her too, because everybody gets a shameless promotion right now. And here is a, ew, sorry, hit the camera. But anyway, here is a drawing I did for Renee Violet. Also, I will find a link so you can subscribe to her. And this is actually during one of our many random conversations. Uh, basically, this is a little comic of something that happened during a live stream. She's like, suddenly my face itches. Then she, and then I kind of added this part. She takes the glasses off. It's like, glasses, get off me! She throws them out a window of a... I don't know, skyscraper, because apparently she lives in one, so she's like, Pwah! and then the glasses are on the ground, one lens is broken, and the other's crying, like, Rene, why? Those glasses have never done anything but make you see. And here is a drawing I did for Mon Echo's birthday, and if you didn't actually catch this before, here is Mon Echo, there is a flashlight, and here is Slender Man. Yeah. This has to be the creepiest Slenderman I've ever drawn before. Matter of a close second, I draw a lot of Slendermans. So, here is a drawing for Moneko, putting a link to her channel too, because why not? Here is a random drawing I did in MS Paint. Uh, yeah, this is actually an MS Paint drawing, I don't know. Uh, actually, now that I look at it, how the crud did I make that? It looks like computer destroyed itself or something, it's like, Oh, your drawing is not safe? Well, it's probably my fault. Alright, and here is a kind of background practice I did, again for a painter style, but I wasn't taking it seriously, I just kind of drew it to draw it, but I actually got the, uh, I got a great idea later to actually add in a Magikarp to this, and yeah, here's what happens when Magikarp uses Splash. It's like, oh, but nothing happened. Oh, giant tidal wave, nobody saw that coming. And this drawing is actually an edited version of this one. Yeah, I'll let you figure that out. And here is a drawing I did for Secret Santa for Lemia Crescent. Again, link to subscribe to everybody shall be in the description. And here's a kind of running joke with us. Like, here is Light Yagami, and he has purple hair and frosted tips because he's fabulous. Light is fabulous! And he's actually Santa Claus, and he creeps on Lemmy again. And Lemmy's like, crud, he's back! And she's freaking out about it. And here is CCL, again, crazy comic lady, but she's a little stuff plushy thingy. It's kind of like an easter egg for the picture, but if you look over here, she actually warned... She warned Lemmy. She wrote in red crayon, look out the window! And yeah, Lemmy should have listened. And here is the drawing I did for Emlet. Everybody did a secret Santa for Emlet. So this is basically Emlet art mode, and I was pointed out on a failure that he actually doesn't use, uh... Paintle Sai, he's a Photoshop wizard, and he's also, he is also very, very, crud, what is he? Crud, I actually forgot. Eh. Whatever, I'll remember one day. So, 
Anyway, here it says it was drawn by Omar Abdul Hassan Lassan Alish Mohammed Francisco Saint Ramirez del Castillo the third. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. No, I don't expect you to be able to read that out loud. Anyway, happy birthday, Emlet, even though it's not his birthday, it was for Christmas. Oh yeah, he's Swedish. That's what he is. He's very, very Swedish. I can't believe I forgot. So then there's that. <coughs> and here's actually a drawing that I intended to make a speed paint, but of course my computer hates me. So it didn't. And here is basically a drawing of Talia from Bo uh, Brody's Ghost. And she's shattering windows because that's what Talia does. And again, you can find this drawing in actually on DeviantArt. So if you want to see the final picture. And here isn't really a drawing so much as it is an edit because I was playing Pokemon when I was sick. And yeah, basically, this is kind of like a little self made meme. And it's like when Skittles trains. It usually looks like this. And there's a drowned Moltres, blood everywhere. And then here's a spiel cut in half. There's a dead Tropius. Uh, here is a Poliwag, one survivor among not many. And yeah. <laughs> Don't ever challenge me to a Pokemon battle. I'll probably still lose, but I will find you afterwards. So yeah, that's it. That's my drawing update for the month. Be sure to pick your favorites. I gotta get back on working on this. Be sure to pick your favorites. Uh, Sorry if this video is really long, and I will see you guys with the next video, which will probably be the Safi Speed Bank. So, see ya, everybody!